Good evening and welcome to St Mary's on this Thursday of Holy Week, Monday, Thursday. Today is a day, as we've already suggested, of mixed emotions. Today we've been at the cathedral to celebrate the Chrism Mass presided at by the bishop when he invites the clergy and readers of the diocese to reaffirm their vows of ordination or licensing, their commitment to serving God and their commitment to proclaiming the gospel, to breaking bread, to bringing the spirit to light afresh in the world. It's a day when we remember our vocation in Christ, a day when we rejoice because Christ has called us to share in this work. And like the disciples through Holy Week, there may well be some uncertainty about exactly what that means, exactly what the future holds for us, but it should nonetheless be a moment of great rejoicing. Tonight also, we gather to meet for Mass of Maundy Thursday. We're preparing the church now in its gold of the day. Gold is, of course, the colour of feasts, the colour of celebration. The Gloria was sung this morning in the cathedral. The Gloria will be sung again tonight, and not again then until Easter Day. This period of Holy Week between Palm Sunday and Maundy Thursday is one of joy and rejoicing. The Chrism Mass in other places may not take place on Thursday, but could take place at any time this week. And that is the wonderful thing about Holy Week, that it does contain these great highs as well as lows of emotion. Like those disciples, we rejoice that Christ gathers us around him, that Christ shares his vision, his ministry, his mission with us. And yet, unlike those disciples, we know the cost that that vocation will bear. The disciples were uncertain what would happen that week. Though Christ was trying to teach them, to get them to realise the suffering that the Messiah would have to undergo. But that means that we can enter into the joys of the season even more greatly because we know how the story will continue, because we know the cost that ministry and mission will bear, because we know that Christ bears that cross and that cost for us, and that we can not only share in his sufferings and his death, but also in his resurrection. So as we gather tonight to celebrate the gift of the Eucharist, Holy Communion, the Last Supper, Mass, when Christ gives us the means by which we enter into the mysteries of his saving passion, gives us the memorial of the cost he bore. As we do that, as we wash one another's feet, and as then we come to spend time in silence with Christ in the Garden of Gethsemane, we'll watch and feel that change in emotion, that change in response to the vision of the Kingdom of God. And the beautiful thing about Holy Week is that that change happens within the liturgy. It happens on Palm Sunday as we enter in triumph and leave in sorrow. It happens tonight when we enter in glory and leave in silence. It'll happen tomorrow on Good Friday when we enter in solemnity and sorrow and end in utter desolation and emptiness. And it'll happen on Saturday night when we enter in darkness, in uncertainty and we leave in joy and jubilation at the majesty and glory of the risen Lord. So enter into the mysteries of the sacred triduum, which begins tonight on Monday, Thursday night. It runs through Good Friday, Holy Saturday and 
culminates in the great celebrations of the Paschal Mysteries at Easter. Enter into that prayerful liturgy and journey with Christ as he reaches the great joys and sorrows of our life that we might reach the glory of